Hi everyone and welcome to my video that I believe is long overdue. Today I want to compare two really badass blades, both by Daniel Winkler and Dynamis Alliance. They are the Dynamis Blade, which is on top, and the Razorback, which is on the bottom. So I'm fortunate enough to own both. I first purchased the Dynamis Blade back, I wanna say 2016, 2017. I first saw it back in 2014, and I just thought it is simple, sleek, elegant, and sexy. I knew that I wanted this blade. Unfortunately though, these are considered semi-custom or custom, meaning that I can't just go to my local knife shop that sells Winkler blades and say, hey, I wanna see this. Pick it up, hold it in my hand. So this was the first semi-custom or custom blade that I ever purchased. At the time, it was slightly cheaper than it is now, but it was still a good amount of money for me. So I just kept hoping that someone was going to do a review on them and that I could see it in someone's hand. And I hope that that would help me in making the decision as to whether or not I wanted to purchase this blade or not. So a couple years went by, came into some money. I was like, all right, it's time to purchase this blade. You've been thinking about it for a year and a half to two years. Let's do it. And around the time that I was, before I purchased the blade, they released the Razorback. So that made things a little hard for me. I had to wait maybe, well, I didn't have to wait. I waited about another six months or so, hoping that someone would make a video exactly like this, where they would show both blades together. Now, the stats are online. I'm not gonna go over the, the, the stats, the blade length or anything like that. They're online. What I was hoping is to see, a, to, to, to compare them, a comparison between the two. And that just never happened. And it still hasn't happened years down the line. So I had some free time because of COVID, decided to make this video. So the very first blade that I purchased, again, was the Dynamis blade. This is a low 600 uh, serial number. At that time, they were making these in CPM 3V steel, I believe. And as of this recording, December 20th, 2020, they are now making both the Dynamis Blade and the Razorback in 80 CPM 3V. So I'm 5'7", if I haven't said that already, 150 pounds, size 30 inch waist. The reason why I say that is this blade, unfortunately, is a little too long for me to carry under my shirt. If you can see here, I'm not wearing the tightest shirt. This is a typical shirt that I would wear. And I also don't wear baggy shirts. Um, I already told you the date, we're in the middle of December and today it's sunny and it's 72 degrees outside. So I'm not wearing a lot of poofy jackets. I'm not wearing a lot of sweaters. If I was, if I lived in an area where it snowed and so on, then I could discreet carry this. Unfortunately for me, the butt here of the blade does stick out and it does print and it's very obvious that I'm carrying a blade underneath my shirt. And for that reason alone, I can't carry this blade. Now, after I purchased the Dynamis blade, about a year later, I decided to purchase the Razorback. As you can see, this one has a little bit more wear on the blade itself. This fits my hand perfectly. So let me just rewind a little bit. The grip on the Dynamis blade, it's great, but my hands aren't very wide. My fingers aren't very thick. And so I have this additional finger groove down here that's just kind of chilling. There's no point to it because if you see, I mean, that is a perfect grip for me on this specific handle. Now, if we compare it to the Razorback, which I also think is hella sexy, it fits my hand perfectly, like a glove. It's like they, they took a molding of my hand and they were like, here, we're gonna custom make this handle for you. And I even love the color. I'm not a big fan of the green micarta, but this, this is just amazing for me. My 
only concern about these blades now is the blade steel adcr v2 i've sent this in once to be sharpened by daniel winkler and it came back no sharper than when i sent it out you know, when I first received this blade, it wasn't sharp enough to cut paper or razor sharp, you know, to, to take some hairs off my forearm. And when I sent it in, I asked them, please make it as sharp as you possibly can. It comes back to me in what I think, it, what I thought was the exact same sharpness. It wasn't any more sharp. So the reason why I do carry this though, the end, the tip of it right here, hella pointy and it does have serrations which is what i do like so if i ever had to use this i am going to be stabbing i'm not going to be slicing okay so that's the reason why i still decide to carry this with me every day so side by side comparison let's see if we go if we line up the edges here okay let's show you obviously the shorter side not the longer side There you go. That is the difference. Now that little difference right there does prevent the blade from printing on my shirt, from sticking out. And I have absolutely no worries carrying the razor back. So the Dynamis blade now just basically lives on my plate carrier or on my chest rig, whatever it is that I'm using when I go shooting outside. Um, I still absolutely love this blade. Unfortunately, my hands are just not big enough. I'd say that I have surgeon hands, not, I guess, wrestling hands. So there again, the razor back and the Dynamis blade. Again, putting them together. One last shot. butt to butt. So I hope that this helps you guys out in making your decision if you're thinking about purchasing any one of these two blades. I know that he's released also the Revere, which just has serrations on the back. I believe everything else is identical. Also made out of ADC, ADCR V2 steel. And as of a week ago, I believe he released the SMR. Haven't really looked into it. I am though looking forward to his dive knife just because I go diving a lot, I swim in the ocean, and I'm very excited for that blade. So again, I hope this was helpful to even at least one person, then this would have been worth it. All right guys, if you liked my video, definitely hit the like button, comment. If you didn't like it, too bad. This is my first video, got a lot to learn. Take care.